So we have a big handout here and it's super interesting because we have Alan Keating out here who decides to slow play his aces. So now this is a three-way pot. Mickey three bets the initial raise uh, with his king jack to 10,000. Alan Keating just slow plays his aces and flat calls. And then we have Wesley out here with ace king suited spades who four bets to $50,000. So could this be a multi-way action pot? Mickey loves to gamble. If you watch any of the other hands that Mickey's played in, you'll know that he loves to flip. He'll put in any amount of money just to see the flop. He has a reputation. He's here saying, my friends would hate me if I fold in this position. He has only 54,000 behind him. So if he has to call, it would effectively mean he's almost having to go all in. So now he has to make the decision. Should he go all in? Should he not go all in? And he loves to gamble. What do you think? Should he gamble? No. He actually reluctantly, very reluctantly makes the discipline fold. Now comes back to Alan Keating. Should he raise out here? Should he raise out here? If I were Alan Keating, and I know Alan Keating has a reputation for playing a very wide range, I would actually use his reputation to his advantage. But no, he actually just flat calls. And I believe this is a mistake. Alan Keating would have could have very well exploited his image to his advantage because I think Wesley would have just called him. Now the flop comes 4-7 jack and Keating checks. He's really slow playing his hand. Okay, now it maybe makes sense because Wesley would have no idea. Wesley bets 40k, Keating quickly calls 40k without any hesitation. Now, Nine of Clubs, again, a card that adds no value to Wesley. Keating again checks. I'm not sure. Is this good? Is this not good? But yes, now, the, given the way the hands played, I think the maximum value he could extract from Wesley is by letting Wesley back. But Wesley smartly checks. Now, should Keating bet or should Keating check? Well, Keating decides, okay, I will bet and I'll bet a reasonable amount, $60,000, hoping that he gets called. I think he's quite confident that Wesley doesn't have a 10. Now, Wesley has a decision to make. Keating has a very, very big reputation of playing such a wide range that I mean it's difficult for Wesley to put Keating on anything right now at this stage and I think we all know that Wesley thinks that he's no good out here the only play he can make is go all in should he go all in I, I very much doubt because Keating would call him down with pretty much anything that he called him in with pre-flop so Wesley either has to decide is his ace king good and he makes a call. I don't see a raise out here. Or should he fold? I think this is one of those hands where unfortunately Keating has not exploited his reputation to his advantage and he's not extracted maximum value that he could. I feel pre-flop if he went all in, I think Wesley would have gone all in because of the reputation that Keating comes with. So I very much think that there has been a lot of money left on the side out here by Keating. Wesley has $147,000 and the $60,000 also, it's not come to Keating's way. Keating still wins a sizable $100,000. That's a good fall by Wesley. But yes, I believe Keating has left some money on the table. Anyway, good hand. Well played. He does play different. So you got to give it to him. This is slow playing aces. Not expected. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And I would very much appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button as well. Thank you.